Hi there, this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and this is the weekly, your place for weekly encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. I realized that I actually forgot my headphones, so we're using the phone microphone system, so hopefully that the I'm a little bit closer than I, than I normally would be uh, because I want you to make sure that you hear me. Uh, it is what it is. It's one of those days. So I just want to say, how's your week been? Uh, what's the weather like where you are? As you know, weather is like the one thing that everybody likes to talk about. It has been so hot for us. It's about 30 degrees. Uh, it has been. And today it's a little bit cooler and people are already complaining because of that. So you just can't win. I actually like it. It's still nice enough to be outside without being scorching hot. Uh, so this week we have some really exciting things happening. Hey Joni! And uh, so last week actually on Friday I posted uh, on in the group as well as uh, in, if you get my emails you might have heard a little bit of the story. But I just want to tell you again what happened with me on Friday when I was shipping your flags, your worship flags. I, I'm Canadian so I crossed the border and hey Dorothy, I always cross the border to ship the flags using USPS and Priority Post and I had been rushing around as per usual but what has happened, uh, my worst fear is that I thought that I had my ID because I saw something in my purse that I thought it was and it turns out that it was sitting at my desk at my computer and I had left without ID and here I am. I was actually talking with Rosie as you know from our group. <laughs> cool in Delaware, hey? Yeah, sunny and cool. I actually don't mind the sunny and cool because it's nice. But the, so I was talking to Rosie on the phone uh, as I was as I was coming up to the border booth and I realized the the grave mistake that I didn't have ID to cross a border and I said I gotta go this is big trouble I gotta go so I think I freaked her out but I get up to the booth and I said to the officer there I said I'm really sorry uh, so here's what happened I was rushing out the door and I don't have ID and he looked at me looked at the paperwork I did have my paperwork uh, the business stuff and then he says, well, it's a good thing I know you. So he let me in. And then when I was coming back, momentarily I thought, well, I actually don't have ID to get back into Canada. Will they let me come back in? And aside from being extremely uh, surprised that America let me in without ID, they let me back into my own country. So I was grateful for that. Um, and I don't want to spiritualize everything that happens to us because some things just happen and we have life. But there is just a I think that there's a greater truth about what has happened and it's in it's really in who we are as worshipers and who we are as intercessors with our worship flags and as we prophesy with them that you have I have some authority uh, in both places in both America and in in Canada and the regions that I go frequently and it's not because if it's a one-time thing I've been going back and forth two times a week for sure every week for the last four years and I've been doing sell, selling every uh, since for seven years so I've been I've been traveling back and forth across the border so this is not a one-time thing I you have authority where you go often and I think we really need to remember that if if we want to influence change and affect change it's really great to walk into a region and and make different and make changes and I believe that there is some call on us to do that however the most authority you have is where you go frequently so if you are going to the grocery store frequently and if you are going to the library frequently if you're going to the movie wherever you are that's where you have place that's where you have influence that's where you have authority and that's where the people know you and it's important that both sides know you. There's one thing about going in and stealing and plundering, but like when the Israelites left, it was actually at the insistence of the Egyptians and they left with their stuff that they were actually given. And so I know that as uh, as a person of, of authority in the spirit, when I go into the, into the United States where I don't reside, they will welcome me because of the relationship that I've established there, that I'm known there, and that the Lord has given this into your hands. So that's just a little lesson that I was thinking uh, out of this this kind of unique situation. I don't really recommend not crossing a border with ID, without ID regularly, but. 
God uses all things and so it was I was really grateful so that's just your little worship moment just understanding who you are as worship warriors taking the t in its intercession where you go frequently uh, and so I wanted to tell tell you uh, our trending products this week Lion of Judah has been uh, such a popular item for the last three weeks in a row and although we did sell some more Lion of Judah a few more of you picked them up this week actually the top three trending products was El Olam uh, the uh, God, eternal God blue shimmer single layer flag and Yahweh Magan those round up the top three so it's been an incredibly busy week I am still working on products uh, orders that you've that you've ordered in the last two days so many of you took advantage of the la of the sale on the very last day which is great makes me very busy and uh, and I also didn't have uh, in I wasn't in time to do the weekly before I announced our flag Friday fire flag Friday winner so a lot of you have already been I uh, it's it's it was pre-scheduled so and I was supposed to do it before one o'clock it was just kind of a morning that I didn't get I didn't get um, it done yet the weekly but Michelle Lillis was our flyer flag Friday winner for July so she will be getting got this the red the red the ruby red uh, flags so Michelle if you're watching I'm gonna tag you in this and we'll make sure you get it but I need to get your address from you so that I can ship these out on Friday to you and I wanted to let you know that the Fr flyer flag Friday for August we're gonna run it for one more month so you have one more I think it's is it five opportunities this month to to get your to get your votes in and I'm just gonna give you one little catch that if you post a video hi highlighting your use of the catch the fire worship flags that'll count for two two entries so videos count for two so look for the instructions and in the and the contest rules on on Friday you'll have to do it on the post when you see the post that's when you start to post on this main page and the flags that we're giving away are these ones can you see these these are a light green they're pear dough actually they are the August birthstone gemstone for August and pear dough actually means it's a fresh word Rosie you're gonna love that fresh word verdant love which is like a new beginning love so a, a fresh love again and it's been made you've been made righteous those are the meanings of that of those flags so you'll be winning those are what's up for for grabs for the flyer flag Friday in August also we've actually got a couple of a few giveaways that we're gonna be doing this month in addition to the free flag uh, I've partnered up with a few other businesses kingdom-minded businesses that have great products uh, and together we have put together a, an incredible giveaway for you uh, I think I, I'm gonna be posting it the giveaway I'll post it a little bit later today so you can start entering the giveaway will be uh, go up until August 10th and it's let just almost $200 worth of product including a $50 gift card for catch the fire worship flags that's coming and also we've just finished we've Joni if your birthday is in August you need these flags so you need to make sure that you're part of the uh, fire flag Friday uh, entries so the the um, no, I just lost my train of thought oh yeah so we've just finished the names of God which I loved that collection I absolutely loved it um, but uh, and I wanted to stay in it all of the time but we keep moving forward and we keep I'm keep producing some more flags and I'm uh, finishing up the next collection and I'll be photographing them and getting them going and so the next collection is coming at the end of August <laughs> we'll talk angel and um, the so then we have with a new collection there will also be another giveaway coming so be watching for that also in August is the seventh anniversary of catch the fire worship flags and if you are a fire catcher VIP on the email list uh, make sure that you're part of that email and be watching your emails because there is something special that's coming your way just to celebrate but you got to be on the VIP email list so I'll have the link for you in the 
the chat just before just after I'm finished this and finally one last thing due to the extreme popularity of Lion of Judah and just this really big pull actually two flags uh, I've we've decided to add them to the pop the bestseller fire starters signature line so they will be available all of the time uh, line of Judah will be available all of the time the other flag that I'm making available it won't be available all of the time it's only until supplies last which is uh, Yahweh Magen so these two flags were the the most popular in the entire collection and for the Yahweh Magen you really have Donna Anderson to thank for that uh, she we actually created that one together. She had a desire of the name and I'm like, okay, I, we spent some time thinking about it. And so that's, uh, I don't have all of the fabric. So I have as many as I can, I can sell. I'm actually going to designate the, the lilac fabric just for whatever is remaining. So that will stay in our shop for as long as I have supplies for that. But Lion of Judah, that is something, all of those fabrics I tend to carry all of the time. So those are going to be available all of the time. So that's it for the weekly. I tried to say everything really, really fast because there's so much going on. If you have any questions in the group, I'm gonna try, I tried to look, there wasn't anything that was pressing. If I've missed something and you want me to answer the question in the weekly, I would love to do that. Uh, until next week, just an FYI, actually I'll be shipping on Friday, then there will be, a, I will miss the normal shipping day on Tuesday and we'll ship again next Friday, so there may be a delay if you order over the weekend because I am taking a four day weekend. That's right, I work 15 hours a day for you guys, but I'm taking four days off where I am not going to be accessible even by Wi-Fi. So Rosie's in charge. So who knows what she does, but Rosie's in charge while I'm gone. So Joni, you should actually be re receiving your flags tomorrow, I think. I shipped them yesterday, so it should be tomorrow. So that uh, is it for it for us today. Have a great day. Have a great week. I look forward to next week. Bye guys.